YouTube. So let's see. I think we're live. We're live. What's up, everybody? I'm Mark Olson from Backgammon Galaxy, and I'm here with Mr. Nick Blasier. What's up, Nick? Hey, I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> so it's a, it's a heck of a match we're, we're going to watch today. Between yeah, yeah. Will Snellings versus Gary Tansey. So I mm. guess it's like maybe the two best players in the U.S. at the moment, Nick, or... Yeah, yeah, think? I think I, I, I really I have no idea how well people know Jerry Tanzi's name kind of in the U.S. at tournaments around, but I know in when we went to Gibraltar and did the championship there, people were asking why. Like he was one of the names that came up. His online presence is very strong. Yes, his online presence and his uh, BMAP ranking as well. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So he's been doing awesome things for a few years now, for sure, and very strong player too. Very calm over the board and everything too. So great yeah. competitor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's awesome. And of course, Will Snellings is a legend. So yeah. So we can expect a, a really, really strong match here. Oh, I just w lost Will Snellings in the lobby here. Did oh, he... Yeah. Maybe he just closed down his match to... Oh, yeah, there. He just created a new one. I think they're going to uh -huh. begin soon. So cool. for you, all you guys watching, this is the US Galaxy Championship 2020. It's an online tournament. It's a free roll. You win a, a winner's card. And uh, and we're gonna see if we can make a champions tournament, like a champions league, with all the champions ah. from each country. So there's a That's little bit awesome of idea. little bit at stake here. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so we're waiting now for Gary to join Will X's match. We can see him here in the lobby. Yeah, Jerry's in. Jerry's in. I see him now. They just got started. Oh, they just started. My yeah. browser. Oh yeah, there it is. Vanilla dice. Yeah. My browser is lacking a bit because of the fact that I'm streaming. Oh, and yeah, having yeah. Zoom and Galaxy and OBS and everything is running <laughs> at the same time on my poor laptop. Yeah. So everyone can go check it out directly on Galaxy if they want to. They can. That's what I'm looking at right but now. But then they're gonna have a, a little uh, look into the future if they're listening to the commentators <laughs> as well. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> oh, even well, let just me know when I get when you get it up. So I'm not uh, in. It's so slow. In my too. browser, my computer. <laughs> It's still loading. The viewer, the viewers have just watched a white screen now for 15 seconds. Okay, so now it's coming. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's my computer is so overloaded right now, but I think we are almost there. Ah, still loading. Nice. Wilcox has a cube in already. Oh, really? I and we can't see it. <laughs> it's uh, he's got the five-point anchor game against Jerry's two checkers split and a six-point board. Jerry has no points in his board yet, so. It's kind on the ropes, but it's early too. So clearly an yeah. early cube, but I'm just gonna good advantage, can, good aggressive cube. I'm going to try to close down all other browser windows and see if that helps a little bit. Awesome. awesome. Come on. I, I just have, I, I, it's because of the Corona crisis. So we were stuck in between our two houses and uh, I only have my laptop. Oh, geez. Yeah, yeah, yeah trying to run this on that. I'm just that's refreshing rough. the browser now. Come on. Okay, poor viewers. They... You gotta talk us through the games then, Nick, because we're still loading here. Well, they both have three checkers back now, and actually Wilcox just sent a fourth back to his three back on his 20-point anchor, so there's a little bit... It's it's rating to be a long game and not just over right off the bat like Wilcox was threatening. Okay. Um, looking pretty interesting, yeah. But Jerry's had to give up... Or Sorry, Wilcox has got to give up his midpoint now with three checkers back still. Still on the attack, though. Uh, yeah, it's... It's, this is horrible. I think I have to close down my browser, actually. Oh, brutal. Yeah. If there's anything I can do to share across to you, I could do that, too. Um, sure. Yeah, but I think it's going to be too tricky because right now I have your camera from Zoom, but yeah, uh, let me just close down the browser and let it reload again. It's so slow. Yeah, sure. Let me Are you sharing either of our videos right now? You might stop both of those to see if your laptop keeps up a little better then. I am... Uh, I am, <laughs> but then the <laughs> viewers are gonna are gonna uh, lose um, the 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 cam the commentator cam. So that's also yeah, yeah. bad. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm good now. Let me see. I closed down all other browser windows I had open, which, by the way, I I should have done that to begin with. <laughs> so let me just find here. Will X not here? Jerry is sitting with a ace point anchor now and two more checkers on the bar. <laughs> and Wilcox has got three to bring around. So, so it's looking rough, but he should have the timing to play this ace point game at least. Or he might lose a backgammon. You never know. 
If I just if I had just saved the match link, which was a big mistake not to do. Because now I have to find it in the lobby, which is a big mess because we haven't launched the player search yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, Nick, could you s send me the match? Oh link? yeah, how do I how do I get the match link out of it? Just copy paste the URL. Oh yeah, one seven seven eight three zero four. Oh okay, so. good idea. Yeah, just give me the the ID. One sec. Yeah, I've got you the link. So in your one Facebook seven page. seven seven one seven seven seven. One seven seven eight three zero four. Ah, okay. One seven seven eight three zero four. Okay. And Jerry's. Yes. It's a good time to get in there. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Look at this. Good. He's got some counterplay now. He came in on the with his fourth checker on the ace and hit, and now he's actually containing one checker. And I guess he he's debating between having to hit loose and come out with one of those. Hi. Huh? Oh, okay. Feels automatic to jump the prime, but. Yeah. That's every number <laughs> must hit that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. I think I'm just going to come out anyway, but I definitely see what the problem is. Yeah, what what number misses if he comes six, out? Five. Fives? Double fives is bad? Double six misses. And no, six is hit. Six is hit over, That's it's an escaping. Sixes are really bad, right? Because the back checker on the 22 hits the the blot on the 16. Oh, yeah, but he can uh, safety that blot, right? He no, so I think he entered with an ace. I could be wrong. No, no, he didn't. Oh, okay, no, okay. No, no. He didn't end the Got it. He's got the full roll to play, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, so out and lift is pretty strong then, right? I can't, I mean, hitting just seems too loose then. Uh, it's like either way, you're really getting screwed in this position, so maybe he's yeah. going to try something desperate here and hit. And I guess if you yeah. hit, I mean, this is my play as well. Yeah. There's a couple of misers, uh, but of course he's going to get put back on the bar. Yeah. Yeah, you're not dead yet when that happens either. It's nope. too deep to hit. Like, he doesn't have a lot of checkers in the action. You hate to spend one on the three, yeah. right, with your five still open there. Yes, it's it's definitely it's not, not time to do a blitzing move. But he he want to go for a prime, but sometimes hitting prevents your opponent from escaping. So it's actually also a priming thing. Yeah, yeah. That he also risks the fifth blot back when he hits two, yes. where, you know, now things went wrong and he still has four checkers back, yes. but it could be worse. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. There were no more blots in the outfield or anything. Yeah. Okay, I'm just looking over at the chat section here. We have 51, 51 viewers. What's up, guys? Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Joe Bernaba, Reese Hodges says hi. Daniel Sorensen says he's looking forward to a great match. Ali Mary. And then we had a, a, an update from the other match. Uh, Seeger1824 writes, Shlomo Kabal knocked out Chris Trencher. Unless oh, wow. Rich is taking it to the world-class analysis. I never heard about uh, this guy, Shlomo Cabal, before, but he's been playing really well in this tournament. Yeah. You know him, Nick? Yeah. I am, I think I'm, I mean, I'm, you know, I, I, it seems like a name that I shouldn't get crossed. I think there's a little <laughs> up there. But yeah, I think he's a younger guy from Chicago if I met him before. Okay. Um, I've seen him out at some of the tournaments. Yeah, yeah. Cool. But yeah, been a good player. I remember... Pretty high grid ranking too back in the day. Okay, that's cool. And yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I think that, that I can just quickly do this cool thing. We can show the viewers while we are in this bear off really fast how the rounds are. I'm just showing the viewers here the round of the last eleven players. Here we have Bob Wagtail playing Justin Nowell, also a huge match. Oh wow! Yeah, we've got uh, Trencher versus Shlomo, uh, and apparently Trencher got his ass kicked. It oh, seems wow. <laughs> we have the scoreboard of the tournament is only Justin Nowell and Bob Wagtell with zero losses so far, so they are oh, facing wow. off against each other. Uh, so in this match, we're gonna have uh, either uh, Will Snellings or uh, Gary Tansey will be out of the tournament. Yeah, that's wild. Okay. Yeah, I think pretty much every one of those players you listed off is like Grandmaster as well. I don't know if they're all on the BMAB list. And, you know, the only one I'm not sure about is Shlomo. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the rest for sure playing at sub four consistently for yes, like a long time. For, for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, the yeah. youngest of the players, I think, is Justin, who's only yeah. been a Grandmaster for a couple of years, but is really strong as well. Yeah. I didn't know his name until this website here, actually. I remember all of a sudden oh. heard him coming up on the leaderboard there. And I was like, oh, I haven't yeah. met the guy. Shot by Justin. 
Yeah. But well, look at this. Jerry's turned this around. He hit a yep. shot in the bear off there as yes. one contained. And this shot is usually enough for a recap, wow. isn't it? Am I nope, crazy? No, no, no. Uh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Well, I he hit it's it, it's got to be a pass. Yeah, yeah, if he hits, it's a pass. It's a huge pass. Is yeah. If he fails to hit and he covers up, then it's a 50-50 position. So, you yeah. know what? I mean, I think it's right to wait until you hit it, but I'm not sure, actually. You think you yeah. want to double on the shot? Because I mean, so imagine you send it. It's like it's. I guess it's a really efficient cube if it turns down to a race, and you're sad you sent it in that case. But there's just so many ways for you to just end the game, right? And I think he has more of a lead too with that gap on the ace. But yeah, I'm not sure. I think I would have. I thought you sent those, but I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay, so game two, two zero for Gary. Oh, that's a good shot. So many ways to play it, but I think I'm gonna go with the seven point, and then I think I'm gonna hit loose on the three point. But he could also just play it slow. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was wrong. Like you can't hit loose on the three point. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you didn't know what to do. The blot, you yeah. could keep it safe and leave only indirect, so he goes with that reasonable play. It seems completely natural. Yeah. So, oh yeah, of Oof. course, vanilla dice cannot cube yet. He's still getting no, primed. No, He's down the race, but let's see what happens. He's gonna here. hop up to the edge with one of them, though, right? And link those back checkers after eight to five with three. Oh yeah. Okay. I was thinking about just making the the seven and the five point here, but actually, oh. maybe you're right. I think yeah, that's a good. I think I like that play as well. Okay. Um, he could have also double hit. Uh, yeah, there were a lot of options. There was yeah. a lot of options there. Mm-hmm. And this even, you know, I guess he's probably gonna get hit on the edge of the prime here, yeah. but it's not such a bad. A lot going for him here too. Good response. Yeah, really good response. I like the way Will played that move. By the way, this looks really strong. He doesn't think about the cube at all. I'm always getting trigger happy here, even <laughs> at the score. But that's a really strong structure too. The eight to five, four prime. It is. Yeah. Uh, but let's see if Will. Okay, so he he does enter, and of course he's going to jump out to the outfield here. I don't think it's a cube. Yeah, I think it's a good yeah. decision not to cube yet. Mm -hmm. If Will had fanned, then maybe it was a. Maybe we would yeah. have a cube here, but it's probably still a take, so this is definitely right. not These a cube. Right, these are tricky. There's a lot of life. You know, there's going to be wins for a long time with that two-point anchor, yeah. not to mention the forward chances that White has immediately, right? So it's going to be tough to get a cube in until it's a little more resolved. That's 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 the thing. Both players still yeah. have forward action going on here. Yeah. Uh, Oof, so that was a bad sequence for Gary. Yeah. And uh, He has to bury the first checker, always the worst in the priming game, right? Uh-huh. Uh, okay, I think Will is going to make the nine point here. Yeah. I think Will is a favorite now, actually. What about it looks this? Looks like it's me. What about this 2 1 here? Hmm. You really want to come up to the edge of the prime with a deuce, but I think you got a yeah. hit. I don't. It's hard for me to see what hitting accomplishes, but I mean, it's. You almost. I feel the same. The thing is, if. Ter if. Uh, if Gary. Uh, goes into a full prime versus prime. He's an underdog yeah, he's here. Just, he's just crushed in the yeah, prime versus prime. He's yeah. down in yeah, structure, fair. he's down in timing. So some He just brings oh. them both up and plays the priming game. Yeah, interesting. Wow. Huh. I don't Yeah, I guess there's still a lot of anchor game potential in here even when he's hit two. So maybe we're a little early to think about this as a prime when it's like the nine to five. But yeah, it's tough. It is a prime. I would say it's definitely a prime. Uh, I yeah. I don't think I like that play from Gary. I think I would have hit with a deuce, and, yeah. and trying to, yeah, increase your blitz value a little bit and and take out half of the roll from Will. I I can definitely understand why Will was considering to cube here. He might have even missed a cube. Uh, yeah, it feels like it would have been a strong cube here because there must be yeah. When you make a six prime, it's pretty disastrous. But I guess the. The other side of that, I think it's still like that there's a lot of high anchor game potential in there for, for Jerry once he yeah. stands up, steps up to the 21. I don't necessarily dislike Will's decisions. I think actually yeah. I like both decision not to double, and then I think he should double here. So he mm -hmm. hasn't made that decision yet. <laughs> but I, I liked Will's decision not to double. But I, my yeah. thinking was that it might be a double. At least it's a decision. And for that reason, I didn't like the way Gary played the 2-1. Yeah. And Jerry must just have to pass this if it comes, right? But this, it's interesting. I don't see... Well, I don't know. What do you think? This is confusing to me. I, I think this is a double pass. Uh, I think Will is taking a roll here on too good. 
I yeah. don't think it's too good because you're still getting primed a little bit with the checkers down on the uh, on the. Yeah, there's some points. serious risk here with some yeah. rolls like this. But now he's got he... a, now he got a, he's got a point shift and go for the closeout yeah. and just yeah. spread out his builders. Yeah, this is a beautiful play. I guess the other side of that too is that if Jerry does enter and like make an ace point or something like that, it's really likely that something else is going to crack or bury too. So I can I can see what Will's thinking here. And. I wouldn't expect Gary to find a take necessarily, but from a practical point of view, this is not a simple, trivial position. So yeah. by shipping a, a cube, you, may, you you do give your opponent a chance to to, to fuck it up, one way yeah. or the other. Uh, so now is this the kind of game where he needs? He's just going to leave it there, right? It's not a lifting mm, kind of game yet. It's, it's pretty it's close. It's a strong board. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty close. I think. I think I would leave I it there. On that side. I think yeah. I would leave it there also because of the blood on the ace point that he can shoot back at. Oh yeah, this now. is a really interesting. He he's like scared of the volatility, but it still feels like it has to be too good because like the swing's so huge for him when he when he like when he plays well. But what you you hate it when your opponent rolls a four, right? Because then you're just not good enough. Yeah. So yeah, dilemma. I but okay. Think I like his decision to play on too good. I think so too. Yeah, I think I like it. There's going to be some interesting rolls really quick here, though. <laughs> Is he stuck already? Yeah, this just oh, cracked. Oh wow! Didn't I didn't even notice that. Aye, yeah, aye, aye. yeah, that's. <sighs> and now horrible. he's losing. Yeah. But no, wait. What about the cube? I think the cube is going to come now. But maybe now he's going to give Gary a d tough decision next roll if he cubes. Yeah. It, I'm, it's oh, not clear no, that, to me that it's a cube. That, that's that's not a tough decision. That's a very easy take for Gary. But yeah. for Will, is this a cube? It doesn't even look like a double, really. It's just got yeah. so much work to do, and Jerry's so much more pure. Yeah, I think he's right in that double. Ooh, that's a good oh, shot. Oh, what a shot, yeah. 6-3. Okay, he's got to come out. make the midpoint. Yeah. That's pretty big, yeah. That is, that's a huge asset in this game. Yes, he's got to make the midpoint. And he can get away with this with a couple rolls now. That's a hidden cover. Yeah. Now the cube is yeah. coming the other way. Yeah, I guess it does have to this be a hidden. A it just looks inefficient. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure you want to make your ace so fast, but um and oh your crunch position. Yeah, tell us about that. I always get those wrong. I mean this could be a cube here because this is a crunch position. Yeah. Okay, uh, now he's happy he didn't cube. That was a big sequence in Will's favor. Okay. Uh, Double four, does it hit? Nope. So I guess you just maximize contact value here, right? So how do you... Yeah, you can... How do you do that? How hmm. do you do that? Maybe just clear the 10 point? And slot the deuce? But then you give up direct contact. Hmm. Oh. How do you maximize contact value here? What if you come? Ah, yeah, I think. Okay, it just gives up the deuce. Yeah. I think. I could see thing. giving up the fifteen too. Like, there's some reason to that, or even leaving blots out there. Like yeah. this is. I was looking for a way to play the single blot anchor kind of game. You yes. Know? Look at this. Somehow yeah. he's gen generated a a double shot from there. Yeah. Not he hits, but he's still against a four point board. Scary. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not over yet for Will. If he can hit this deuce, he's looking really good. Okay. Also, not bad. He needs to get missed. It's not a cube from Gary oh again it's probably better to stay on the 21 than to clean up right or do is the four point board scary enough I, I think That's it's better tricky. to be split with the back checkers uh, yeah I so, like this and yeah. then you have no risk in the outfield this makes a lot of sense yes yeah. it does it does and there's the double shot good play yeah. from Ter uh, from Gary yeah I keep calling him Terry because <laughs> it's Tansy <laughs> <laughs> You keep calling him Gary too. It's Jerry, I think. But you know, ah, it's, it's Jerry. <laughs> yes. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank they look. I guess. Me. Yeah, it looks like I don't know if I've seen that spelling before, but yeah, it's Jerry. Ah, yeah. it's Jerry. Yeah. So I, I never met Jerry. I only saw his name all over the place on the B map yeah, ranking yeah. and. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't feel like I don't. I mean, he doesn't travel internationally that I know of yeah. yet at all. Um, super strong player and super nice guy in person too. It's okay. a pleasure to play with. Wow, yeah, double yeah. five for yeah. for Jerry. So <laughs> let's hope we can. And, uh, we oh, can... I thought that was going to be a cube out there too, and this is less clear. Oh, isn't it a cube still? Uh, 
those are confusing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because you lose your market by a lot. Yeah, but, I mean, he's the only one that can lose a gammon, right? There can be some weird things that happen. I think, I mean, Will must have a take on the last roll still, easy right? Easy take, easy yeah. take, easy take, yeah. Yeah, so I think at that kind of score, it feels good to just sit on it. But probably right. You're probably right. Let's hope we can uh, we can attract uh, Jerry for the UBC next year in Gibraltar. That would be awesome if we got to see yeah, him yeah. there. Yeah, super strong player. I'd love to see what he puts up in a tournament like that. He yeah. plays great. Uh, okay, we have Neil Casaras watching. He says, stay split with Aces. I, we agreed, yeah. Neil. By the yeah, way, yeah. Neil got the buy in this round, which was actually Ooh. pretty big. So Spicy. He, he's in the final seven players now, Neil yeah. Casaras. Another grandmaster on the list, right? Yes. It's too many. It, it's really a tough field right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's. I think that's a good cube here because Will is down zero three to seven. So for that reason, yeah. Small no double at money. Now it's a double. Okay, Jerry hits return. Yeah, not going to be a lot of. If it stays volatile too, it's going to be tough for for Jerry to get a recube in. So yeah, not a very scary cube to send. Five two. I think he's gonna what does this continue do here? to hit on the five with the deuce. I guess why not? But it, it is a little bit scary because you're outboarded now. So there's definitely yeah. an argument for just playing to the 18 point bar to 18. But I think Will is gonna end up hitting on the five point. It's yeah, you hate giving up the initiative like that, right? And just but oh, yeah, okay. This one. He gets more coverage with this. I can see some logic to that. Yeah, and it's more safe. You step away from being under the gun. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even consider that one. Yeah, yeah. And now he has a hit or not decision. Probably don't want to hit here. Mm. This is a little bit loose to me. Okay, sixes. I, I didn't like that 4-2 by Will. I would have played safe yeah. because you're still yeah, priming. Four blots is a lot and you're still out outboarded, right? Yeah, you're still so outboarded and you're actually priming him on the twenty uh, on on your ace point. When you give a third checker, it's you're actually giving him more flexibility to, to anger up uh in the in your front position, I didn't like that hit at all. Actually, hmm. really didn't like that hit. Yeah, I was thinking that it was going to be too rich as well, but it's always hard to pass those up. Yeah. So what do we do here? You'd love to make mm. the five prime, but then you have five blots, so he goes for it. Okay. I, I like this play. Yeah, he can play yeah. bold. He can mm -hmm. push his edge here. Yeah. Uh, six five, and now he's gonna find some way to bring his checkers home. Yeah, that looks right. Ugly six from Jerry. 6-4, mm -hmm. there's not a clearing play here with the 18 point, but oh, he can make a 6 prime. <laughs> yeah, 6 primes are good. <laughs> oh, this is a great shot. We just advanced the anchor, right? It is, yeah, you got to do that, I think. Yeah, there's the middling play where you make the 23 point and make the 5, but I think the it takes precedence to just make the 22 point anchor here. Okay. Oh, and he goes for that, okay. Goes for some development too. Yeah, I would just want to be at the edge of it. I think that we don't generate enough new wins by, you know, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it could be a brilliant move. It's definitely the standard move to just make the anger, but the argument for Jerry's move was that Will has to clear that 18 point at some point. So when he runs with one checker, he can attack, and now he has a much better structure. Mm, he, I mean, he could, a, he could be right. Yeah. Very strong point. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think about that, that there's still that anchor to play against. Yeah. So he can get some counter prime value in. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so okay. what is Jerry going to do here? Is yeah, he gonna double it just to, to make minimize the... damage. Yeah, I don't know what else he can do. So now we must not be playing any sort of counter prime game and just want to get up to the edge. Yeah, there is a a micro hope here for a counter prime. <laughs> <laughs> you don't play for it though, right? What, what do you? Well, what can you do? Uh, you can play thirteen to eight and seven to five. I was thinking 24 to 22 yeah, was you, kind of You want to play that deuce, that's right. But you don't want to yeah. leave the fly shots either. Mm -hmm. I think this is a little bit better, actually. it's mm. You don't want to get that fourth checker hit. Oh, now mm -hmm. he starts to bury. He could have actually done the kamikaze play there and trying to go for a back game, but I don't think it's the right idea. You already made your yeah. ace point. It's Oh, gone. look at this, and he found a good six from the bar. Oh. And there's a little bit of life in this position there now. There is. Not much, but a little bit. <laughs> Definitely a little bit. Okay, what about this one? Ugh. Okay, so the three is forced. It's from eight to... F okay, he chooses the anger over the loose yeah. hit. Okay, fair enough. 
<laughs> he's got the race now, yeah. That's right. He's got the race, and uh, and he's also up 3-0 in the match, holding a cube. He doesn't want to get into too much of a gammonish position if he can avoid yeah, yeah. it. So Neil Caceres says that he didn't like Will's hit with 4-2. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't like it either. I really didn't like it. Well, look at this. He's got to come off the anchor, but it's not too bad. And he buries instead of stepping up into the double shot. Gets yeah. hit potentially anyway, unless we point on the three here. Oh, which he's is... got a double hit, I think. Yeah. No, there's... Oh, I see. It's a three to ace? Yeah. That double hit? No, no, okay. no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five to three to ace. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Uh, yeah. But maybe he should just make your play, Nick. Just make the four point. Yeah. There's a lot of choices. Well, you could hit in the outfield, too, and send a third behind the prime. But yeah, I think making progress seems a little better here. Uh, this must hit somehow, right? Yeah, it does. I think okay. it does. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's looking good for Will. Okay. Yeah. That was a fun little battle we had going on there. <laughs> Ooh, Jerry enters really fast and is going to start to bust his board up real bad now. Yeah, he needs a double five. Oh, five, three. Oh, it's actually just a single shot if he comes out all the way. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's really, really big, actually, to escape one checker. That means that he still has a little bit of prime, uh, sorry, race value going on in the position. Oh, yeah. he, could, he could actually run, but isn't it too big? I think it's too big mm. to leave the anger. Well, how risky is that? I mean, it, yeah, you he's going to get hit loose for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sixes and blocks. threes and all those fly shots, yeah. If you had a tight inner board, yes, but yeah. in this case, no way. Yeah. It did look really good because he can save gammons even if you're attacked there too, you know? So. And, and now Will is actually trying to play a trap game here, I think. I think you yeah, want to make... perfect you, room. Uh, I, I think I would have made well, the ace rather than playing Will's play. It's tough, though, because once you make the ace, that doesn't really help you with your trap play either, right? It, you yes, just it have does. This. That's the thing. It does, because when you're playing the trap yeah. play, you're not going for a pure priming structure. You're going mm, for the closeout. Yeah. yeah. So that's why making the ace actually does make sense. And yeah. he would have kept more outfield control as well. This is the position Will doesn't want to get into, actually, because the, mm. he could get unlucky How does he play in the race. This? But, of course, double fours is probably going to solve his problem, right? How could you... No, oh. it doesn't look good at all. I'm not sure what he should do with it, actually. Because if he uh. switches six to two, then he has an awkward third one. Yeah. So I guess he can just clear the five or rip two and I take think you, two off the I five. think you rip two, rip two. Because of you're, you're up against... Yeah. yeah, this is the move. Because yeah. you're up against a crunch uh, position from the opponent. So you have the, not the best. luxury to just, to just peel off two checkers. These are tricky plays. Okay, he just makes the board, tries to keep yeah. him in the air. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, what a double four is now, too. Brutal. Yeah. I felt a little bit of inaccuracy in Will's uh, handle, uh, the way he handled the this trap play situation. Mm, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, it's tricky, so I might be wrong as well. I, I just... Yeah, I've never... Those get confusing. I think... I feel like I've seen it go both ways. The other thing you have to factor in is that you don't have checkers to hit loose on the 23 once they run either right so you better have some or you have less checkers once you make that ace that's so. true but at least you have a five point yeah. board yeah yeah i, I mean yeah. this is a position will wanted to avoid now we have a race yeah, yeah. so i think the trap plays occurs when you're up against the pr crunch position and the opponent is sitting on an anger but has race equity then you're the only thing that you fear is the race value of the opponent mm. Yeah. So that's that's the that's the indicator for the trap play. Well, he's going to survive for two points. It looks like. Yeah. Yeah. He like, will. No. All right. It's but a nice tight match. Ended up getting rather close in mm -hmm. the in this race. So the format, the UBC sudden death format, you have to win the match and the PR to win the round. And oh, yeah, if it's yeah. a draw, then you decrease the match length by two points. So then they play a five-pointer, and then a three-pointer, then and then one-pointers until we have found a winner. It's sudden death. So it's really, really exciting format. A lot of fun. Yeah, it's super fun. How many? You, I saw you have one running for UK as well, right? And you ran one already. We in had, somewhere else. We had the Norwegian champion uh, champion found today, Dagfinn Snaheim. One in oh, the final nice. uh, okay. against Boardlord, a famous oh. Galaxy user from Norway. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, that was a really strong tournament. They have some strong players in Norway. Then we have the yeah. Swedish tournament running. I think the final is ready for tomorrow. That's Morten Hove, who's been, who's been playing outstanding against yeah. uh, Lars Degerman. Who's oh, an yeah, old timer, yeah. really strong player. So that's going to be yeah, a big yeah. of a final as well tomorrow morning, yeah. European time. Um, and yeah, then we have the UK. I think we're down to like third, twenty or thirty players in the UK Championship. And then hopefully next week we'll kick off the German. The what else do we have? The the French. So yeah, we're going to take them one by one. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's super exciting. That's a fun thing to get to do. And hopefully we'll make like a Champions League at the end of it to have all the yeah. champions compete in one final online tournament in the same format. So the format is super skill heavy. Um, yeah. But we have still seen, seen a couple of big surprises. There, there, There is still room for some variance here, even in this yeah, yeah. format. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's probably like... Some low amount of probability. Some people are going to get really unlucky to get knocked out, right? But mm -hmm. it's less like less swings here and there, kind of, right? You're still going to end up with a lot of cream rising to the top. Yeah, I for like sure. That. I mean, that, yeah. like just like we saw it in the UBC, and we see it in this tournament. It's basically, yeah. I think we have like five or six grandmasters left in the eleven last eleven players here, and not a single grandmaster has been eliminated yet from the U.S. Oh, wow. Championship. So it's very it is nice. very skill heavy. Yeah. yeah, and it's a double elimination tournament as well, so that helps a yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fascinating. I guess nothing. There wasn't really the same sense of double elimination in the. Well, no, they played three matches. Never mind. Yeah, double elimination plus this format seems like tough one for the like weaker opponents to come out on top. Yeah, they get more fun for the buck, but uh, to win the tournament, yeah, it's yeah. it's pretty impossible actually. <laughs> Uh, okay, double fours. Great shot from Vanilla Dice. We missed how Jerry picked up another point here. He got the three away. Oh, five away. Yeah. yeah, we were talking. So this is Oops. a. Yeah, I think it's a correct not to double here because look at Will's inner board so strong, and the race yeah. was actually in uh, Will's favor as well. So yeah. good decision not to double. Oh, of course, he lost his market. No, wait, yeah. he didn't lose his market. He can still find it. I guess it's close. Yeah, but it's, it's close. Twelve pips, right? Yeah. Ooh, and what about the crossover? Doesn't look good. It might be a borderline pass. Yeah. About think, the same, the crossovers. I think it's a borderline it's, pass, this one. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, it's a. I it's think like one or two pips past, yeah. One pip. Uh, half a pip. Half a Actually, pip. I guess Jerry does have that checker down on the ace. That you might want to factor that in but somehow, too. But it doesn't really close. create wastage, that checker, because he's going to fill in the other points with the all the checkers on the seven and eight points. So it doesn't really matter with that... Yeah, uh, and then there's the match score consideration that actually elevates his his take point, will. So maybe it's like more than a half a pip. Maybe it's like one pip from a take. Yeah, if he so is in a I racing situation, passed. three way, five way trailing, supposed to pass early. I can't remember what the take point is at that one, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, because okay, he does have a strong recube, of course. But yeah, it, I think the take point is, is slightly higher than from one because okay, uh, because Jerry can get to Crawford, that mm. carries extra value. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, double threes by Will. That's a great... Sh oh, he can also hit. Wow. That's yeah. a lot of options here. This is the play that I saw. Yeah. I thought too, but it was a lot of options. Okay, Jerry gets the hit. Good shot. Okay, so I think Will is going to... He's going to unstack the six point here and slash away on the blot. Yeah. Oh, he slots? Yeah, he unstacks the heavy points. Yeah, instead of hitting deep, I get it. Oh, no, okay. you got a hit. Yeah. You, yeah. I mean, hitting takes away half the opponent's roll. Now he yeah. can either escape or he can build or he can consolidate. I, I didn't <laughs> like that play from Will. That yeah. was a little bit too pure. Sixes. Ooh, great shot. Okay. That is a great shot. So how is going to play it? Yeah, I don't see what you do with the last mm. couple. Two of them link yeah. up, and then, oh, point on head, yeah, okay. I guess that's good. Oh, that's this is a decision good. for Will. Does he maximize contact here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good against this structure. I think so, too. He's yeah. uh, playing a holding game with a goalkeeper now. So, yeah. of course, he's going to win more games with a goalkeeper. 
at the and cost with five of, checkers now behind that anchor too it's gonna to be really hard for jerry to bring this home safe he has pretty good game here uh will good yeah. contact value game uh Oof. maybe maybe jerry one time already <laughs> yeah, i think it's time <laughs> <laughs> it's time <laughs> Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. That's a good play. I think it's the only play actually. You got to get him out of your hair. Yes. Right? At some point. And he on there. You go. It works. It works. Yep. It works. The goalkeeper is out. Does he stay on the twenty though? I guess. Oh. Hmm. But then you have to play eight to two. That's not good. Yeah. So I think you've got to come out to the fourteen. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you're adding a lot of extra contact by staying on the 20 either. No, and you're a little bit vulnerable for the hidden covers and stuff like this. Yeah, this is an interesting decision too for Jerry, I think. Having to dump another checker behind the anchor instead yeah. of strip all your builders or spares to work outside, right? That's yeah. a tough decision. And I think Will is going to keep his blot now on the 14 point to make the four point board. Because he could safety the blot. Yeah, I like that play yeah. from Snellings. And Ooh, that's no six that works here, yeah. That is bad. Is that a Where double do shot? Put him. Well, yeah, it's, it's either a double shot on the course. midpoint or you bring him both down to the nine and the seven, yeah. So I guess you bring both down to have a higher... Uh, bringing two down has a higher reward. Yeah. It does have two blots. It must be more shots, but he has to give up his anchor when he does it too. Yeah, and Will, interestingly mm -hmm. enough, Will doubled. So that's yeah, that seems reasonable, right? Because even when it doesn't work, he has this great holding game against this ten point. Yeah, I think you're right. I think yeah. it was a great double from from Snellings. And what is what does Will do with this now? That seems reasonable. Yeah, now we just want to make the six prime. That's his primary goal. Just contain. Yeah, he doesn't a, have a lot of time to sit on move. it, though. So, yeah, this is just going to clear the 10, do our best, right? Yes. Uh, but he could make the ace, but no, I think he has to just pr play two checkers from the 10. Yeah, reduce shots. I like that, too. Oh, oh, wow, he does come in the ace. Interesting. Worried about being, I guess maybe every number hits loose on the 24 or something like that if he leaves blots around, I wonder. Yeah, oh, will Snellings hit loose on the ace? Not sure I like it. With the four three, yeah, okay, sorry, yeah. I do like it because when yeah. he traps him on the bar, he can pick up the other blood. So I do like the hit with four three. Mm -hmm, Good move. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the question is whether to split the back checkers or not. Yeah, it's, and he goes for it. Yeah, goes reasonable. For it. Yeah, and he's just trying to find out to get the most out of this one, like we've been talking about. He's yes. got Jerry on the ropes. Yeah, of there it is. He picks up the third checker. Well done. <laughs> yeah, that's also a good shot. That's a yeah, really, really good shot. Yeah, advancing that anchor, saving a lot of gamins. Gamins? <laughs> gamins? Gamins. You heard it. <laughs> gamins. That's pronounced uh, Jamins, actually. <laughs> Sorry. I know you've been saying gamins, but yeah. Uh... <laughs> uh, five, one. Yeah, you don't want to go down and hit here. You want Exactly, you want to trap him. And this is just what Will wanted. Mm. I think you got a double hit. Yeah, he knows it. You... Exchange a little bit of prime value to gain a ton of blitz value. Yeah. Oh. Wow. And somehow. Wow, that was. Oh a, wow, that's a huge shot right there. That was a really, really bad fan for Snellings with the three-two. The six-two escapes and hits one yeah, now too. Now, Jeez. I mean, wow. Okay. This is gonna work. Is what it looks like. Three-one. Yeah, it's gonna hit in the outfield with the ace. It's yeah. a good six. And Jerry want to hurry up and clear those checkers before Will enters. Yeah, what's the best way to do that? Just 18, mm. 13, and 12 now? or? Mm, good question. I th mm. Yeah, because you want to look a little bit about... You want to minimize the, the numbers that hit you from the bar. So there's a double six, double five, double four. But yeah. uh, you also like to have the active builder on the 10 point. If, if it's Ooh. on the 12 point, you don't have an active builder. That was a good shot, safety and two in the board there, but Wilcox has a decent entering number here now. The four is huge. It's really, really good with the four. And I what think do you do with the five, though? Just dump to the ace? I think so. Yeah. Because it's so expensive to get hit in the outfield. That's hard to do, though. It feels also expensive to waste a checker down there. Yeah, but, but look, at, room for I it. mean, you don't want to give the direct shot. He has a four-point board. Yeah. Ooh, there's the hit. 
Yeah. That was a and He doesn't one. mind being hit back on the ace either, too. Not uh, well, it wouldn't be great, but uh, it's not too bad. I think he prefers not to, but it's not the end of yeah. the world. Definitely right. not the end of the world. Well, if he hits like this, then he's happy, right? There we go. Gammon's back on. Oh yeah. I was just checking out the the comments. We have some comments from Casaros. Uh he would have played uh hmm. he would have slotted slotted with the four three. Leave an ace shot. I think I think that that's yeah. what he's trying to say. With the five four, you mean? When he covered the ace? Is that the one? No. No? It's a Different many counter, rolls okay. back. Ah, mm. no, don't worry about it. Uh Jens Avakam says, very nice to watch. Everything where it belongs. I don't. I, maybe he's referring to Snelling's uh, style of play. He had like a couple yeah. of pure moves. Oh yeah. This is Will doesn't have the the ammo in the zone he needs to finish this off, but he's okay. trying to keep that twenty three clear the hardest yeah. he can. Yeah, he keeps getting shots like this where maybe he has to hit that second checker on the twenty four. Oh, he didn't. Right that surprises me. Yeah. I would have definitely hit. I mean, he's just—he's only got eleven. He can't close out for yeah, a couple rolls. Yeah, it's not rolls, like you worse, risk but, but so now he switches, right? Nope. Even because though, well, not because he doesn't have enough in the zone. Yeah, okay. He—I he, think that this the the dead checker on the on the three point really takes a lot of value out of the switch because yeah, if you that's switch, fair. then you kill a checker. Yeah. So for yeah. that reason, I I think I like Will's play with that one, but I didn't mm -hmm. like it. Like the fact that he didn't hit loose with that uh, three, or was it a, yeah three or two or whatever it was? He hit a few five threes in a row. He kept doing things like that. But okay, this is working out. Now he's got some shot at a gammon here. Not huge, not a favorite to win it, right? But plenty of them. Plenty of them. I mean, he, if with perfect distribution, he has like forty percent. So this is a little bit worse. So let's call it a thirty-seven, thirty-six percent gammon here. Oh, he yeah. plays it off, uh, aggressively. I like that actually against the crunch yeah. board. Yeah, does it? Well, yeah, as long as it actually wins more gammons, which yeah. <laughs> isn't always clear. <laughs> it wasn't so. always clear, like, right? <laughs> uh, he chose the hit rather than to take off two checkers. Fair enough. I'm not sure which one is better. It's tough. It kind of breaks the even odd rule. He could have got like one roll closer to being off by taking one. Yeah, but it looked good too. Taking away. A whole roll of your opponents potentially probably wins more gammons in general. Yes, I I think you're right. Um, yeah. Uh, Casarus comments on the switching play. He says, "No switch." Oh my God, no! <laughs> <laughs> and Frank Fajut says, "The commentary duo is just outstanding." Thank you, uh -huh. Frank. So kudos. Thanks, to Frank. Nick. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, we split at the score. This is a fun match score now. Will a little low on time. Hopefully that's not any sort of issue for him. You never know online, though. Weird things can happen. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if Will is usually playing the speed format on Galaxy. Maybe he isn't. Yeah. Oh, is this a speed No, format? no, no, it's not a speed. No. I I'm just saying, like, if it was, a sp for instance, if it was Stanyak playing, 37 yeah. seconds is more than enough. Because he's used to playing the long speed matches and all that stuff. He plays speed yeah. all the time, basically. Oh, okay. But I'm not sure how how adapted Will is for the being low on the clock. But uh, now it's going to be double match point anyway, so yeah. Yeah. it should be more than enough. Yeah, Jeez. won a quick advantage in the last game at three-way, two-way. Pretty easy pass. Yes. Ooh, not that... Oh, yeah, they make an anchor. Good enough ones. Pretty yeah, good. Jerry's got a pretty solid advantage in this game. Just the race, right? But it's a mutual yeah. holding game, so that's what you want. It, it's it's maximum 60-40, I think. Yeah. Uh, Gary could have played the ace, slotting the seven rather than stepping up to the 23. But okay, fair enough. Probably not too big of a deal. Oh, you mean Will, yeah. Oh, sorry, Will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to advance his anchor out to the bar, I think, here, right? And then, yeah. okay, like the four point was That was a good shot. Yeah. Because he's up in the race. He's the one up in the race. But, I mean, it's it's not even a 60-40 precision, this one. Ah, maybe it is because of Will's weak in a board with the deuce. Mm -hmm. probably, and now he's going to hit. Yeah. Um, so I now, like that stacking play, too. It leaves less shots. Interesting. Yeah, he's not trying to prime anyway, so I like the play as well. Just minimize mm -hmm. shot. 
It's a mutual holding game, so the raise and safety is important. This looks reasonable. Don't oh, give that's the a, extra one. That's a really horrible fan from Will because now I think yeah. Jerry needs to get his back checkers moving. Yes. Oh, interesting. Okay. Will has to hit, of course. This is a pretty good shot. So Will has some counter priming. Mm. Yeah, Going what's on. the best that Jerry can do at this now? So I can see he can enter to see the light, or he can sit all the way back on the 24 and semi-safety the other one. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I this is, he's going to yeah, get pointed on here now? He is going to be pointed on, but the fact he was up in the race, he had the better inner board, so he chose to step up and take the battle now. I, I yeah. liked it, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so Will is putting up a good fight here. He's priming. And 6-4, he could come out now, actually. Yeah. Yeah. What do you feel about the PR race, too? You think mm. you had a clear favorite in that one? I mean, obviously, both players are grandmasters, so, and I think they both yeah. played well. We're going to see low PRs. But there was a couple of moves that I didn't like from the players. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I think they're going to play in like a three and a half uh, between two point high and three point high. So in yeah. the three and a half range I, I, I'm, is my guess. And I can't really tell who's the favorite. Oh, okay. Felt Maybe. like you had more uncertainty about some uh, Wilcox's moves. Uh, I wasn't sure. Yeah, well, that, there was a couple of the moves from Gar uh, Jerry as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure. Now it's looking really good for Will. Yeah. I Maybe three and a half is too much. Maybe three point low for both players yeah. is my guess. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, we have an update. Bob Wachtel just defeated Justin Nowell in seven-point match. Nowell won the PR on three-ply. Three ply. Ah, okay, so it's, he didn't get defeated, not in this format. So it seems to be a draw in the seven-point match. Got it, got it. That is cool. Okay, so now it's a race. Okay, Will is going to win. Will is going to win yeah. this race. And as it turns out, I actually have the match link right here for... Justin Nowell and Bob Wachtel. So oh, we, sweet. So we can check out the match statistics on that match in a, just a few seconds. My browser is so slow because of the streaming. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see the PR. This is exciting, huh? What is your guess, yeah. Nick? There we go. This is kind of what it felt like, I thought, just the way that you were talking about it. And probably Jerry had a little bit of perf better performance there, but so he, he ekes it out and survives. Oh, you're much faster than me. Oh, yeah, wow. 3.3 yeah. for Will, 2.5 for, for Jerry. It yeah. looks like... Jerry didn't like how he, how he played, he says here, either, huh? Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I guess now that we, in, in retrospect... Uh, 10 minute break that's okay with us actually we can just look through the the mistakes while they take a 10 minute break yeah um, oh cool in retrospect i think I, there were probably more moves from will that we felt uncertain about uh yeah but there was that interesting some of them could have been like really bad on jerry's side maybe like uh the covering the ace play seemed like a maybe a big one let, um let's have a look yeah yeah let's have a look we have like 10 minutes players just said 10 minutes until the second match begins so let Was there a way for me to download the match? You can't download it, of uh, unfortunately, unless you get one of the players to send the match file Got to it. you. But yeah. I mean, I was wondering if I could download other people's, but yeah. yeah, I guess not. Cool. But we can just like quickly run through the the, the match here. How many games did yeah. we have? Oh, we had eight games. So let's be fast. Let's just look at the blunders. Okay. Uh, so the first here's a cube. That was a good cube and a good take. Uh, small mistake here from from yeah. Jerry. He should come Tell up. Tell me which game and move you're on, too, because okay. I'm not seeing... Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, my bad. Yeah. I'm I in game streaming, one, yeah. move 12. Okay. So Gary has, like, a oh, a move where he... Uh, it's Yeah, it's a, it's a mistake. Uh, he should have stepped up, and instead he played an aggressive move where he... Uh, yeah, hidden behind is just a little weak. There's not a whole lot of threat to build anything on Wilcox's side next roll, and that... That double split formation is just really strong, too, when you have the double coverage of the 20 if he does hit loose. Yeah. So, yeah, I see a lot of reasons to just split now. 
Um, oh yeah, the, the, someone in the chat is asking, no XG analysis. I mean, this could actually be close enough to run it on world class. I'm just going to tell Jerry to run it on, on world class. Oh, does that overturn it if they yeah. run it on their own? Oh, really? Uh, but no, no, wait, I should tell Will to do that because the rule says that uh, the loser of the PR has the right to contest the result with a world-class analysis. So, oh, so basically, okay, okay. It's the world-class analysis that's the official one, but if it's obvious with the three-ply on Galaxy, there's no need to do it to just save the time. I'm just going to write uh, Will Snellings that he should yeah. uh, analyze it on world-class I didn't realize you guys were doing that. I just kind of always assumed that it was uh, whatever happens on the uh, on Galaxy is what you get, you know, and hope that it evens out. But that's uh, interesting. In, in this tournament, this is the the, the way we, we made the rules. It seems like a, a pretty easy and practical solution, and the, it's uh, we, we get a higher accuracy with PR winners doing it. Yeah. Uh, oh, here was a small mistake. From Will, so in, I'm in move 29, game one. Will okay. Snellings has a 4-3. He failed to come out to the 18 point. Yeah, I saw that. That was an interesting one. It looks uh, like a good move to make that, but he just makes some offensive structure. I'm actually looking through. I'm already on to game two. Move 20 is the first blunder I see. Okay. Oh. And it was an interesting cube decision on game Wilcox's two. side. Do you want to keep moving through one no, first? No, no, no. I'm trying to catch up with you. Cool. We talked about this one about him thinking about the cube. Oh yeah, yeah, he missed the cube there. That was bit, that was one of the ones that I really didn't like. No, wait, yeah. wait. I think. And so the the checker play right before it is that two one that we thought about forever too. That's oh, what we yes. need on Jerry's side where he oh, steps yeah. up and plays the priming game. That hits a little better, yeah. but it's close. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a 52, 52 yeah. error here. So I I called uh, Jerry out on that one. I'm yeah. Oh, I what did I just do? I'm trying to. Um, in the yeah. yeah, so playing on too good at seven away, five away before the double fours oh, after that two one is just optimistic, right? You should cash it. Uh, so. where, where was what move was this? Oh, he has a take actually. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Maybe he didn't think he had a cube. Maybe he really thought that was tough. So I think it's move twenty in game two. Oh. There's a cube blunder. And he misses it, and we talked about this, and we th I think we thought maybe that Wilcox was playing on. I can't remember. No, he played on after the double fours. He played on after the double fours. This was a reason. I, I think I my uh, what I said was that it could be a double here, but I wasn't yeah. really sure. Um, yeah. I think. I, I remember I didn't like Gary's, uh, Jerry's 2-1. I would have hit. And yeah. then... Uh, I mean, but but now that I see the position, the cube action from Will, I think it's actually a pretty clear cube. He has the five prime. Yeah. There's a lot of volatility. Yeah. yeah, twelve checkers in the zone, right? And that checker yeah. buried behind his anchor. Yeah, this yes. is scary. It's it's really scary. And so I I guess the five four then so the next move Wilcox is right to play on here. Yes, for sure. Now it becomes yeah, by a lot. He had one decision Absolutely. by the way when he got hit and entered from the bar. Uh, I remember he had a decision, wasn't it in this game? Double four, let me just see the sequence here. Five, four. Wasn't it in this game where he had it like an action cube from the bar, but he chose to be play on too good still? Uh, oh, yeah, I think I do remember what you're talking about. I thought he sent it when that happened. Uh, it could be. Okay, so move thirty. Will made a good move by staying slotted. He didn't. He he shouldn't pick and pass. He made a good move there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. oh yeah, then he rolled a double three to crunch. And then there's yeah, there's no cube actions. Okay, so now I'm fast for fasting forward. Um, oh yeah, so that was the, so move thirty two right after that is where he had the opportunity to send it from the bar, and we said he should play on, and he did. Oh, yes, that, that's the one you found. Yeah. I somehow missed it. It's actually yeah. not that bad to cash that. Um, it's 076 on this level of analysis, at least, which, as far as two good decisions go, sometimes you just send those in a practical sense. Maybe they get taken, you know? Yes, it's, uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, I need to do like this. It's, it's, uh, it would have been almost a blunder to double, uh, and for sure, Jerry would have found the pass. But against the yeah. slightly weaker opponent, it's probably. A pretty good practical double. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so what else did we Then we had some small errors here. That's no big deal. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we had the cube decision. One roll before the cube actually came, when uh, Jerry was on the bar. Oh yeah. But that that's. A I thought you thought he had a yeah a cube there already yeah. No, I wasn't sure about it. Oh, okay, okay. I thought and he might, it, yeah. it turns out that it was a huge no double. So. Yeah. So at least. Uh, I think I would oh, have yeah. found the no double. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it looks like, I mean, I don't think in the next roll when he has lost his market, it's actually not by that much either. Interesting. Yeah. I yeah. think you made some good arguments actually uh, of that position, Nick. Uh, yeah. Keeping the cube and then doubling next time, it's more efficient. Then you yeah. get the fold equity of a position mm -hmm. where it's, you're actually giving him a tough decision. Oh, I have 20% winning chances, oh, but I have to fold. When you give yeah. the cube there, it's just like such an easy take. You, yeah. There's no fold equity at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving on to game three. Yeah. Uh, Will gets an early double. That's good. Uh, oh, yeah. Will had a couple of decisions here with, for instance, the 5-2. Yeah, he failed to hit with the 5-2. That, that's the move where I was. I, I just didn't even realize the move that he made. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting one. It's not too bad. I, I really like when I see, you know, I, I would like to see what this plays out on plus plus or something like that, too. Yeah. But it's interesting to me when something, yeah, that you don't think of at all that has positional merit like this that we kind of found after the fact is close, but not correct, right? It doesn't really yeah. feel wrong. It's just someone thinking about the game different than we are, right? Exactly. Uh, so that's a little bit funny. Um yeah, I agree because it, this move was a pretty clear move to me. I think. Yeah. Uh, I think what I said really was that, that I, big of a difference. Yeah. I saw two alternatives here: I hitting on the five or uh, playing to the eighteen point. Let's just check how the eighteen point is. Okay, so I did spot the two best alternatives, and the third one it just didn't cross my mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm not too fond of Will's play here, to be honest. But it's of yeah. course it's not blunder potential. Right, right. Uh, six five, it hits. Oh yeah, then this the, the four two. Okay, that's not too bad actually. I really disliked his play. Uh, with oh the four, yeah, two. I didn't even look close at that. I'm surprised to see that it's that close too. Yeah. There's, I guess, I mean, it's just that's what happens in these spots when he finds, you know, like if a very strong player finds merit to going for something that looks a little scary to us, like that's usually when they're close. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Might be wrong. But yeah. 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 So I mean, of course, it's you. It's good to hit a check or put a third check or back and all that stuff. But I just like yeah. the f just angering up and playing for a prime here. Uh, yeah. But so I thought it was really bad actually because you open up the blitz. But okay, it's not that bad. Thirty-eight, thirty-eight yeah. uh, error. And then oh, yeah. that's a blunder. Yeah, that's the double aces. Oh where both yeah. Of us, I think thought you just have to get up to the edge, yeah. but he does the creative play and makes some offense. Um, yeah, I didn't find the reason that you found, but that must be what Jerry found over the board and got tricked. Yes. Uh, I mean, I, for sure I would have made the right play here. Um, then yeah. Gary, uh, Jerry made the play he did. And then I was like, that all of a sudden I started second guessing myself. I was like, could Jerry <laughs> be right? Okay. Maybe it's a cool move. Uh, but yeah. no, it's just make the better anger. It takes. I actually minutes. thought this was interesting too. Move 25 doesn't register as an error, but he was like slightly inaccurate on it. He made the ace point with that 5-1, and I felt like that was just sort of a cardinal sin with like no checkers left to play with, and I would have looked for some sort of other play. Like I would have I don't think you can afford to give up the eight oh. to make the two either, but I like this there's an interesting middle ground here to just put one blot on the ace and do something with the back checkers. Yeah, you safety the back checker. It actually eliminates a lot of blitz value when you safety yeah. that black che uh, back checker. Yeah, uh, yeah. and then there's a little bit of inaccuracies. Okay, so here now Jerry is playing against uh, a, a six prime, so he should just minimize damage. And actually, he does that better with playing six to one. That can't be right, can it? What is <laughs> That's so cool. That, apparently, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but he's just damage controlling. That's the thing. He's down behind a six prime. Oh, yeah, because it's behind. He doesn't yeah. have to actually leave any shots. Yeah, okay. He realized that, but he was damage yeah. controlling by double hitting, like putting two yeah. checkers on the bar, and then you clear all the checkers, you crunch, but at least you only have three checkers tra trapped. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I just got a message. They're starting in 15 seconds. Okay. So let's move cool. on. Oh, we didn't... I, I want to see... Yeah, there are a lot of good games in there. Well, there we can spend some time games. afterward going through them again, I suppose. Uh, did they? Did Wilcox say he confirmed the the result too? Uh, not yet. Uh, okay. I I see. I just quickly scrolling through. There there was another one. The three one. I, where Wilcox slotted the five point. That was a big blunder. One hundred and forty two blunder. We called him out on that as well. 
Yeah, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, oh, wow. Seven. And then they played really well the rest of the match, I think. Yeah, okay. okay. Yes, they played really well the rest. Oh, cool. I think we did quite well call out their blunders, um, but they also had us a couple of times. <laughs> Uh, okay. So oh, let's... yeah, yeah. I found the player talking about the slot versus hit. Yes. Very interesting. Oh, they already started. There it is. Let's go. Oh, I mixed, missed it. Um, yes. Okay, we come in from first move of the match here. So that's really great. Um... Okay, I just got the the match file, or not the match file, the match link from Bob Wagtail versus Justin Nowell. Oh, cool. Uh, it seems that it was a draw in the seven-point match. So they are heading for the five-point match. And as well, okay. I'm trying hmm. to get him to send me the match link. Um, okay. I'm just going to turn on the lights here. Interesting lift. I suppose it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> my no, hair is my growing. Hair along with me. I haven't uh, been at a hairdresser for like two and a half months now. So it's like... <laughs> a... You got to learn how to take care of that yourself and just shave it off, you know? Yeah. But I'm, I'm a little behind right now, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Three one. Oh, uh, this is a really interesting tactical opening here, where Jerry's doing some kind of odd and pure things that just I think makes sense here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can comment on the game, Nick, because I'm just trying to catch up with the other result from Wachtel versus Justin. Apparently, they already played the five okay. point match. Oh wow! I am surprised. Maybe he was too good again somehow, but Wilcox, okay, he's going to throw in the cube now that Jerry entered with a really strong double threes, and I think he has to pass with four back and all this structure. Yeah, risk of a fifth being sent back. Oh, yeah, that looked like a pass to me as well. So now yeah. it's a four-point match, basically. Four away, four oh, away. Yeah. I didn't even notice Jerry gain his point. Okay. I missed that part. Yeah, this is one of the hardest scores for me personally. Like, there's just get if you get into volatile gammonish games, like there's the it's just doesn't act like any other score, you know. Where all of a sudden the gammon value is so high, mm -hmm. but the take point's still reasonable, and it's just very <laughs> different. Yeah. Okay, so Neil Casares actually says that he thought he might be a bit too good in that when previous sent, position. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess, I mean, what's going to change? That's a fair point, right? You start thinking about that, what your market gainer sequences are. And I'm not sure there were any in that, so maybe you could afford to take a roll. Market gainer sequences? Yeah, I think that's a way to think about too good, right? What, yeah. what sequence is going to lead to me not being able to cash next roll? Oh, if yeah. if you don't okay. have any, ah. then what's the point in sending the cube? Yeah. I like that expression. Never used it yeah, before. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he hits and continues. Ooh, that's a good one. Double deuces. It's yes. a little awkward and stacky. It is, but of course you don't want to slot anything or play crazy because you're you're yeah. uh, up ten pips. Mm -hmm. Um, what? It's oh, too... he, this might be a slot. I think this is a slotting play. Oh, really? I think. Ah, hmm. uh, maybe. Uh, this makes sense against the stack of six to me to come in on the ace at least. I don't know why the eleven to seven. I guess is more pure. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. That was a little He's bit tricky, down, actually, nice. the four one yeah. because he could have also slot the f come in on the four and slot the five point. But yeah, that, that seems been... too big when you're yeah, outboarded and all these big. things. So yeah, um, this is going to cover. Okay, we have a winner with the Justin Nowell actually beat Wacht, uh, Bobby Wachtel. In oh a five gosh, point what match. does he do with this six two? I guess he just has to make offense. But this is getting really scary for Jerry. Uh, with three checkers back, though, he's got enough life, I think. He's just so crowded in his position. And, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't think he can't. I mean, he could advance both back checkers, but I just uh, I can't see. 
Oh yeah. That's, oh, that can play better. That's actually true. I mean, yeah. He and he goes for the play. defensive yeah. play. Okay. And I see, this is like this cube too. I have no clue what to do this, and he just snap takes it. Okay. I think it's a take. Yes, because you still have uh, both forward game plans, and you have the anger with pretty yeah. decent timing. Look at this. Like this is an easy. Yeah. Easy takeable. There is position. like he's got no offense though. So there's some good and. You know, Will's already got that three-point board. Like, I think there's going to be some gammons in this position, and once that yeah. happens, it really shifts it fast at that score. So for, I, for I sure. have the hardest time with those. Yeah, um, that, that's true. Um, but the thing is, that backgammon can be won later on in the game. You don't have mm. to prime him right yeah. now. That's yeah. that's why you can have a contact position and be a favorite sometimes. Just depends yeah. on whether you can hit him in the future. So mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's. That's the fun thing about backgammon. Uh, yeah. And in this position, there was definitely a lot of contact value. So I think it was a take. That was an interesting contact decision on Jerry's part two. He abandoned the 22 pretty quickly to the bar point and kind of made some stacky positions also. Mm. No, he was able to unstack eight to four. He's probably I wasn't sure. Yeah, I, which, I like this move. I think he was scared yeah. about uh, losing a gammon. That's why he escaped to the 18 mm. point, which okay. is reasonable at this score. Yeah. It's good contact there too. It's yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, for sure. point, though. And the race is still somewhat close. 20. Yeah, that's kind of what it was throwing me is I think it was still 20 pips or so at the time, maybe more after the play. And so it's, you think maybe the deeper contact might be what you want. Ooh, six one's no good. That's this is going to leave a shot already. Really huh? bad. Yeah. I guess what do you, you do? You break the eight first? Okay. This seems much long term cleanup better. Yeah, I think you, oh, you it duplicates the, the three too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, probably a really nice move by Snellings there. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't even hit. Oh, yeah, of course, he doesn't want to lose a gammon. Yeah. And then Too Snellings rolls a gin. Mm. Okay, so this is going to be an easy win now for Snellings. I think I like the way that Jerry played this game. He was very conscious about not losing a gammon. Yeah, he seemed really comfortable at, the, at a score that I was just complaining about feeling very nervous yeah. at you know just like it seemed pretty automatic he's been there before okay so actually thomas tenden and neil casaris both liked the pass at the cube at this score four way four way i was kind oh, of uh yeah. backing jerry's decision here for the take but if both mm -hmm. of them like the pass i'm not so sure actually yeah it really wasn't clear to me That'll be a good one to look at for sure too. Yes. Cause those can, I mean, they just swing so much; it's crazy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> if you're just not realizing that a big part of why it's like a solid cube and solid take at a normal score is that there's so much gammons on the line, then it's just it's like being yeah, an it's automatic a pass. Yeah. Different ball game, completely yeah. different ball game. I mean, it could be a pass. <laughs> it could be a pass. Yeah. 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 So this is going to be uh, two away, four away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as Neil Casares says, uh, the take point is higher mm -hmm. and uh, the gammon cost, no, GC yeah. co gammon cost is bad. Yeah, the, 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 for sure. Yeah. For sure. In a gammonish position, it's completely different. Mm -hmm. A four point match. However, the recube value is good. So you do still get to take sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but you don't like gammons in the position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's the... I think that was a big tipping factor, too. I think he had three back with maybe a shot at a fourth or something like that, right? Even yeah. though he was anchored up, it was just, uh, yeah, that you get those extra checkers in the mix, and there's the gammons just shoot up really fast. Yes, right? that's right. That's why it yeah. could be a pass at the score. Like, yeah. very easy take for money, but it could... Yeah, it's probably, yeah. it could have been a pass. Yeah. This is an interesting blitzing spot that Wilcox has got himself in here, which is not really yeah. what you want to do a two-way, four-way necessarily. Five oh, four, great shot great from Jerry. Shot, yes. Deuces. Okay, so now it's interesting, actually, because for Will, the main issue here is connectivity with the back checkers. He wants to try to obtain freedom. Mm -hmm. mm, couldn't he have played that a little bit more aggressive with the back checkers, stepping up a little bit more somehow? I'm not sure. Maybe it was okay. I'm not sure either. Force, that is amazing shot. Is an amazing shot. Yeah. This is a score wow. that I love being the sender in. No double. Yeah. No double. Yeah, good. 
of course, he's. I mean, this would be a pass at a regular score, but at this score, it's a huge no double and a big take. Right. No gammon value anymore. Not at all. Like Jerry needs eighteen and a half percent winning chances to take, so he easily has that here, and will just want to win an undoubled gammon. Yeah. So it would be completely idiotic to ship a cube here. Yeah, it's too bad Jerry never got into any of those fun early cube situations. Though this is the most yeah. exciting score to me, yes. just being in these <laughs> and you get in a fifty-fifty game where there could be a gammon and oh. you just get to send it right. Look at this, Nick. Yeah. Look at Great this. Shot. Ah, okay, he's gets oh. <laughs> <laughs> because it takes so little to cube at this score. Yeah, okay, we get another hit. Yeah. Let's see, six three. That's a good one. Will is gonna yeah. escape. Well, Jerry's got a lot of life in this now. It wasn't as bad as it was looking a moment ago. Three. Uh, how pure do you leave this? Do you leave the checker on the 11 to make an extra board point? Uh, yes, I think you do, actually. Yeah, I like that. This is a gammon go uh, move. I, I like that play a lot. Brilliant yeah. play, I think. Let's and he, see. he stayed back, maximizing contact. So this is not really a back game position. It's mm -hmm. more like a... A holding game uh, with a lot of contact. Uh, this is the kind of game where Wilcox could eventually creep up to like a resolves cube kind of situation. I exactly. Now he actually, you know what? Maybe this is it. Maybe now is the time. Could be. Ooh, he leaves oh, a shot that's right away. A bad shot. He leaves a shot, but better sooner than later. Yeah, I guess you leave it all the way back on the eleven because it's not a double shot. Six two in a four three one. So Will I was just thinking about, like, would he have had a re -cube? Well, of course he has an automatic re -cube, yeah. But well, the, should he have uh, thought about cube action here? I, Probably not. I, no, no, I don't think so. He shouldn't have. Because look at the efficient cube he has now. This is yeah. what he want. Now yes, he can double yeah. at this score. And he's not risking gammons when it doesn't go his way. Yeah. yeah uh, I think Will had a, had a tough cube decision on the previous roll before the double six. It could have been a cube because we're, he was getting close to that 80% winning chances, yeah. which he needs to... For, to send the double. This is a great cube from uh, from Jerry. Was it still a money take, though? Easy money take. Yeah. Easy, then I think it take. can't be a score cube in a sense, right? Because you, if you're if you're not close to losing your market for money, then you got to be really close to it to get it in at two-way, four-way, I think. But, yeah. yeah so, you don't like to be taken, right? Yeah. Like Unless you're like right on that where you are perfectly indifferent. Oh, and he takes it, too. I mean... Was this a the, I, I think I'm leaning towards the take as well because yeah. if if, it, if it's just a one-man back position, then it's gammonless. The problem here is that you you get to see a little bit of crunch sometimes from Will's front position. So that makes it a little bit more gammonish and not yeah. completely gammonless. But I think but of it's... course, this roll here, you know, like this is not great. What is he, what's the best he can oh, do yes, with it? Oh, yeah, that's a horrible roll. He could hit on the ace, but that leaves a double shot. I think you just play 7 to 3 and then you play 18 to 16 maybe for outfield control if he, so if he does hit what does he gain he gets like a 1 5 entering he gets some really good entering Ooh. aces so one that five, is a reason one, to do it yeah 2 4 is going to be bad too yeah so he gets some numbers out of it but not well, hitting 2 4 is playable be, it's just 1 5 I think if he hits uh, 2 4 enter oh yeah yeah you're yeah, right you're right you're right yeah yeah. But I don't think you want to hit here because I think you want to give him... Yeah, this is Yeah, my so move. it's like only the 1-5, exactly. yeah. And this you get it. more yeah. not escaping rolls. Yeah. You want yeah. him to move so he can crunch his board. Now yeah. you could hit. Now you could hit. Uh, but he could also just play for... Okay, he does hit. I'm actually not sure about the hit. <laughs> because he, he could yeah. have also just played for outfield control. Now he's and in so trouble. So risky. You don't preserve his five-point board. So yeah. that's kind of a nice feature of it. And he played it quite fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he gets to just stay on the 17, yeah, duplicate the 6s and 3s, I like that. Oh, yeah, I guess. Nice, nice one, Nick. Yeah, this covers the ace, I guess. You're a little bit ahead of me. Okay. My browser's loading so s slow because <laughs> of the streaming stuff. You're like one or two seconds ahead of me. 4-3, <laughs> great shot from Will. Yeah. 6-2. Six, 6-2, two. Six, two. interesting. Yes. little extra contact. Yeah. But the 2-4 is safe. Great shot from Will. Jerry had a couple of tricky decisions here. Um, mm -hmm. It might be costly in the PR race. Yeah, we'll see. He seemed to play him pretty confidently too, though, right? Like, it wasn't like we waited around on a lot of them. So, oh, there's the one. The first hit on the ace. Mm -hmm. The second one, he just... 
I guess he thought if it was closed before, it must be time to hit on the ace now. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I, I think actually I don't like the hit, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it's interesting. It's tricky. Yeah. There's less cre like there's no giving up a point numbers that he benefits by letting him play at that point. And yeah, he's yeah. got a weaker board. So there are some gains to it. Yeah, I don't know. That's a tough one to evaluate. Um, okay, yeah. so what are we, what are what is our what are our guesses on the PR? Oh, he just resigns. Yeah. Uh, I I can't come with it. Wow. Oof. Okay. Will yeah. X. You got Will it. X Nellings. So there must be some big decision that that Jerry missed in that one. That'll be a fun one to look at. Yes. Uh, I I think uh, Will played uh, really well in this yeah. match. We didn't question. I think did we question even one of his moves? Really. I'm not sure I remember that, you know. Jerry, we had a couple of question marks on Jerry's moves here, and he also had some difficult moves here at the end. So mm -hmm. let's see. That's just First two games look pretty clean. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So at four-way, four-way, it was a huge pass. Wow. So Neil really and uh, Tenman yeah. was right. Yeah, two blots around, two back on the 22 already. And if we look at the numbers on that, yeah, it's... Uh, 68 and a half wins and almost 25 percent gammons so yeah that's like on the borderline probably take pass for money even okay maybe wow. a, maybe a pass for money if that's the case it's just then it's gotta so be structurally safe. behind yeah yeah that's a tricky one though oh there was even a missed cube huh yeah from snellings oh yeah this looks like an interesting strong spot too and then he has to play safe afterward i think yeah sure. the four one was not no good from uh for a move 10 in game three the 4-1 from Jerry was no good. He should have just not le left any direct shots. Yeah. And then a couple of moves later, move 15, Will, he misses yeah. a big cube from the bar. Yeah, you're four away, four away. Ten yeah. checkers in the zone. Some blots to shoot at. Right. I think I could have found a cube here. But then yeah. again, I would have taken this this one. Yeah. I was going to say, in retrospect, if you know he might take <laughs> the follow-up then. <laughs> but I guess it's a good play, right? Yeah, I, I hope. Hopefully, I doubt I, it. I hopefully, I would that. have found the pass, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I think what tricked me here in this position was the fact that he was already angered up, so he has both the back and the front game yeah. plans. Um, but oh, you're I right. I got it. Yeah, if you get on to game four, we can see that the second the hit on the ace is no good in okay, either position. Game four. Yeah. Uh, Move okay. 32 <laughs> It's yeah. where he blunders there, yeah. Oh, yeah, some Gary had some tricky, tricky uh, yeah. decisions. So the cube was spot on from Jerry. Yeah. 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 That was not too bad. Oh, what about, let me see, uh, let me just check Will's uh, cube action uh, on the, before the oh, double yeah, sixes. Oh, yeah, before the sixes, yeah. Okay, it was a, okay, it was a big, yeah. big no double because look at this. He His winning chances yeah. are still just 77.5%. Yeah, so you give up all your that like eleven percent of gammons too, right? When it yeah, goes that's really right. Well. That's right. But yeah. if he had like three percent more winning chances, then yeah. you probably want to cube anyway. Ah, three, three. You want to be really close to his take point. So maybe right, three so percent is not more. enough, but three and a half yeah. to four percent. So then you just say, "Ah, oh, screw the gammons. I'm doubling because I'm right on his take point." Uh, yeah. When it's not more than eleven percent gammons. But okay, cool, good decision from Will. Uh, okay, so where were we? The the blunder game, move thirty two, yes, where he hit with a five two. Yeah, yeah. You just want to maximize outfield control here, not not hitting. Your game yeah, plan is okay. your yeah. game plan is to prime and contain. So the hitting play doesn't really go into that. What about the four two? The move before, yes, that was a good play as well. Hitting is not yeah. even on the list. So that was the difficult decisions, I think. Did he have more? Yeah. Uh, did he have more? No, I think that was most of it. Six two, um, small one, no big deal. I'm big back deal. to looking at their first match now. There are so many games that we didn't even get to in that one. Yeah, I actually I, I did a quick scroll while we were opening up the second one, just to show the viewers uh, the blunders, and we I only found one or two more blunders. I don't oh, think yeah. we have to go through it. Yeah, it looks like they play pretty clean for the rest of the match. I can't yes. remember if we had anything interesting in it, but yeah. So congratulations to Will Snellings. He's made it into yeah. the final six or seven. Uh, seven players now left in the tournament. 
Oh, and, awesome. uh, and Bob Wachtel uh, got k- uh, kicked out by uh, Justin Knowles. Yeah. That's yeah. A pretty good win for Justin. Uh, it's hard to, even if I could see their exact like long term PRs and all these, it's hard to pick favorites in any of the matchups. You know, it's just it too, if you're playing like a three versus a 3.1, it's just, it's a coin flip. It's it is. Really, uh, yeah. yeah. I think the PRs from the first match uh, was uh, four and a half or 4.6 for Justin and 4.9 for, for Bob. So okay. that was a draw because Bob won the match. Uh, yeah. And the second match, I think there was a pretty significant PR difference. I think it was like a three point X for Justin and a five point X for Bobby. Interesting. So those are probably even still higher than average for both those players by a decent amount. Yeah, you know? for sure. They probably Must have had some, some tough, interesting games. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so yeah. okay. So uh, there's a win for Will Snellings. I think we have one or two matches left in the round and then we're going to be down to seven players in the US Galaxy Championship. Thank you Nick for joining us. Yeah. Here. It was Thanks great for fun. having me man. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to do more of this? Yes, for sure. We're going to do the yeah. semifinals and the finals as well. Uh, oh, very cool. So okay. We're probably going to have a stream again tomorrow with the with the US Galaxy Championship. So gotcha. maybe if you're, okay. if you're available, we can we can do it uh, do it again. I just might be able to work that out. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, guys, right. and uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, remember to like the video. Oh, only 15 likes. That's not good, guys. Smash the <laughs> like button before we end the stream and see you again. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Correction, correction. Bob Wechtel was undefeated until this, this round. So oh, Bob Wechtel so he's is still not in. out. He's yeah. still in. He's also in the top seven. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you want to play that Justin. easier one-loss side. So that's, uh, I think, a strategic decision on his part, probably. <laughs> Yeah. Justin is the only player left undefeated after eight, oh, sorry, seven rounds. So that's a pretty big accomplishment as well. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Nick. Thank you all for all watching. Right. Smash the like button and subscribe if you want to get a reminder for tomorrow's uh, matches in the U.S. Galaxy Championship. Take cool. care. Bye. Bye, everybody.